In the early morning hours of Friday, working on a July 1st deadline, Michigan lawmakers passed the state's largest budget in history. That's a roughly $75 billion plan. It covers the 2023 fiscal year. It includes more spending on students, school safety, and local projects. Our Doug Reardon explains what it does not include that's just as important tonight, Doug. Right, Max and Janice, during the pandemic, the federal government gave states relief in the form of pandemic funding. Lots and lots of dollars for that. But most states didn't spend all of it. Michigan certainly didn't. And while we thought it might, the budget doesn't address what's going to happen with that money. But people really are wondering how uh, state lawmakers are going to spend that roughly $6 billion. There is a chance that you might be getting some of it. So we have $6 billion just on the balance sheet, ready to be appropriated later. What was not decided in the state's 2023 budget is the one thing that some people were most wondering about. A $6 billion surplus, leftovers from federal pandemic relief, is just sitting there. The budget didn't decide if it would go to citizens in the form of tax breaks, direct relief checks, or something else. But the state had to spend it or lose it. So for now, lawmakers placed it into savings, says Kent County Representative Brian Posthumus. We put three different tax cuts and tax breaks on the governor's desk in order to give some of this money back to the people. Uh, the governor vetoed all three attempts. So that's still to be decided. What is included in the budget is a record dollar amount on per pupil spending, $9,150 per student here in Michigan. Michigan, more than ever in the state's history. It also includes $1.92 billion for special education, $575 million for teacher recruitment and retention, and $52 million for lost learning during the pandemic, things like tutors and online courses. There are a lot of kids across the state who need some extra help uh, to get caught up, and they deserve our help. We have a, a crushing educator shortage that uh, needs to be further addressed. And the budget didn't just allocate money for learning in schools. It also put $693 million towards safety. By and large, schools will get to choose how they want to use that money. Some schools may need to use the funds in order to uh, create a more secure entryway. Uh, they can they can do that. Some schools may be, may want to use the funds for better secure uh, locking mechanisms to prevent, uh, in, in the case of an active shooter, but well, they can use it for that. But while Posthumus is happy with the allocations, he is worried the state's largest budget in history is a reflection of overspending at the federal level. This budget is so inflated, so much bigger than it ever should be because we're getting so much money dumped on us by the federal government, by irresponsible politicians in D.C., yeah, and we should also note the uh, budget includes $6 billion for local road repairs, and it also wiped out $2.7 billion in debt here in Michigan. Posthumous thinks that is also a first for the state in terms of the amount. In the studio tonight, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News. All right, Doug, thank you. The budget also funding several projects here in West Michigan, specifically $30 million for a proposed amphitheater on the riverfront, uh, riverfront in downtown Grand Rapids, $11 million to expand the Grand Rapids Public Museum's visitor capacity, $38 million for a new pediatric mental health facility in Cutlerville, and $6.5 million to help cover transition costs for the Grand Rapids Home for Veterans moving into a new facility.